Hello friends. Now we are on slide four for task number three. The first thing we are going to do is change the background of this slide to light cornflower blue three. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go right up to my toolbar again to background, click on background, and you see a box opens. We are going to come back to this box on our next slide, but right now we are looking at the um, choice that says color. We're going to go to the box, click on the arrow, and I am looking for light cornflower blue three. So I am doing a solid background, and I'm going to move my cursor down to the blues. And underneath this light blue, you see if you stop your cursor and hover for just a minute or two, you will see the name of that color selection highlighted. So there is light cornflower blue three, and I'll click there and then press done. And you see the background of my slide changes to that light cornflower blue three color. And now I'm going to insert an image of a robot clip art image with a transparent background into my slide. Transparent background means that whatever color the background of your slide is, that will be the color that will stay behind whatever image you put in. That's why when you put in images and slides, choosing a transparent background is a great idea because it looks as if the image is just seamlessly blending into your slide background. So we are going to go to insert. Insert is a very important menu choice that we use quite often in Google Slides. And the drop down menu will appear. And I am going to go to image, which is the first selection. And you can pick your images from many different locations. You see from your computer, the web, your Google Drive, your photos on your Chromebook or computer, by URL or camera, but today we are going to go search the web. So I'm going to click on search the web. And because I've done this before, I am going to go back. Let's do it again. Insert image, search the web. And I am going to type in robot clip art transparent image, which I have already put in to the, uh, the search bar. Click enter. And I am going to select this colorful robot right here. Click on the robot. Move my image. Click insert. Or you can also drag the image onto your slide, whichever you choose. And here is my robot. Now I have to drag one of the corners in to make him a little bit smaller. I'm going to put him on the center of the page, make him just a touch bigger. Again, make sure he's centered. And voila, there it is. Your robot is now a part of your slide.